Fourth Wing, Part 1 of 2, Dramatized Adaptation, The Empyrean Book 1, by Rebecca Yaros, is a captivating story that blends adventure, romance, and intrigue within a fascinating fantasy world. The novel is set in a world where four kingdoms, each representing a different element, earth, air, fire, and water, exist in a fragile balance, ruled by their respective monarchies. At the heart of this tale is Briarcliff, a diligent and fiercely determined young woman who has emerged from years of training to assume the role of Empyrean, a revered warrior with the ability to wield the power of all four elements. Gifted with this unique ability, the Empyrean is traditionally seen as the protector of balance between the kingdoms. Briarcliff's ascension marks the first time a woman has taken on the mantle, which stirs opposition and skepticism amongst various factions. The story begins with Briarcliff's first assignment as the Empyrean, which is to investigate a series of perplexing and dangerous incidents that seem to be undermining the peace between the kingdoms. With her trusted advisors and fellow warriors by her side, she sets out on her quest to determine the source of these disturbances. Suspicion falls on the rebels who are against the monarchical rule, as well as on those who believe the balance between the elements should be disrupted to gain power. Briarcliff's journey is fraught with peril. She finds allies in unexpected places, including Asher, the charming and enigmatic crown prince of the Air Kingdom. Despite their initial mistrust and the tensions rising from their distinct backgrounds, Briarcliff and Asher develop a tenuous alliance. Both are committed to the safety and prosperity of their worlds, and they recognize that they must work together to overcome the challenges facing their realms. As they delve deeper into the mystery, Briarcliff and Asher uncover a conspiracy that threatens not just the balance of the elements, but the very existence of the kingdoms themselves. A powerful and shadowy group is discovered to be manipulating events behind the scenes, aiming to usurp the thrones and seize control over the elements. This group's ambitions are tied to an ancient and forbidden magic that could bring about catastrophic consequences if unleashed. Amidst the external dangers, a more personal challenge arises for Briarcliff as she navigates the complexities of her newfound responsibilities and the expectations placed upon the Empyrean. She struggles with self-doubt and the pressure of being a symbol of unity and strength for all the kingdoms. Her resolve is tested repeatedly by both her adversaries and her own internal conflicts. The relationship between Briarcliff and Asher grows more intimate as they face trials together. The tension between duty and desire, along with the clash of their respective roles as leaders, adds complexity to their interactions. As they share moments of vulnerability and support each other through adversities, their connection deepens into a bond that surpasses mere alliance. However, this burgeoning romance is burdened by the weight of secrecy and the potential backlash from their respective societies should their relationship be discovered. Throughout her adventure, Briarcliff encounters a rich tapestry of characters from each kingdom who provide insight into the unique cultures and challenges of their respective realms. Some of these individuals prove to be loyal companions, while others harbor ulterior motives that surface in moments of crisis. She must learn whom to trust, a lesson that comes with painful betrayals and hard-earned alliances. Briarcliff's abilities as the Empyrean evolve as she faces and overcomes a variety of trials that test her mastery over the elements. With each challenge, she becomes more confident and more adept at harnessing her elemental powers, which are crucial for maintaining the balance that keeps the kingdoms in harmony. Intrigue intensifies when a rival for the title of Empyrean emerges, challenging Briarcliff's legitimacy and stirring political unrest. The rival, cloaked in anonymity and wielding formidable power, adds a new layer of difficulty for Briarcliff, who must not only prove herself in combat, but also contend with the political games that surround her position. Throughout the unfolding drama, there are spectacular set pieces that showcase the elemental powers in action, from grand battles to intricate duels that push the characters to their limits. The lush descriptions of these encounters are enhanced by the rich world-building that permeates the novel, with detailed landscapes, intricate social customs, and layered political dynamics giving the story depth and authenticity. As Fourth Wing, Part 1 of 2, draws to a close, 
the stakes are raised exponentially. Briarcliff and her allies find themselves in a race against time to thwart the dark forces that seek to upend the world order. The revelation of the conspiracy's true scope and its connection to the ancient magic stokes the urgency of their mission. Briarcliff must summon all her courage and ingenuity to confront the imminent threat before it's too late. The climax of this first part of the story leaves readers in suspense, with unresolved conflicts and the fates of the characters hanging in the balance. Briarcliff stands at a precipice, facing the prospect of war and the burden of her destiny as the Empyrean. While the bonds she has formed give her strength, the shadow of doubt lingers as to whether it will be enough to overcome the daunting trials ahead. As the novel concludes, it sets the stage for the series' continuation, promising more adventure, romance, and heart-stopping action as Briarcliff continues her quest to protect her world from collapse and fulfill her role as the true Empyrean. The first part of Fourth Wing establishes a compelling narrative ripe with potential, enchanting readers and leaving them eagerly anticipating the resolution of this epic saga. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.